let's talk about sum of squares this is a very useful tool in math olympiad in fact uh, sum of squares is heavily used in proofs of cauchy schwarz inequality and this proof tells you a lot it tells you how to apply this method over and over again so we will look into the proof and understand how to apply sum of squares so the key idea is this that sum of squares is zero implies each term is zero now th this might seem like a very simple idea after all if a square plus b square plus c square plus d square etc if this is zero now we know that every square quantity is non-negative and the only way some of a bunch of non-negative things can be zero if each of them is zero so a square is zero b square is zero and so on so a is equal to zero b is equal to zero and so on this is the key idea of this strategy now let's see how to use this in in a larger context in fact we will look into this particular quadratic a1x minus b1 whole square a2x minus b2 whole square and suppose up to akx minus bk whole square let's call this px that is a polynomial in x Notice that this is a sum of a bunch of quadratics. Sum of quadratics is of course itself a quadratic. So we can expand this and we will get a1 square x square plus b1 square minus 2a1 b1 x. And the same thing will go for each of the terms a2 square x square plus b2 square minus 2 a2 b2 x and the last one will be a k square x square plus b k square minus 2 a k b k x now we will combine the like terms and we will get the general structure of a quadratic so taking the x square common we will get a1 square plus b1 a1 square plus a2 square up to a k square times x square minus 2 times a1 b1 a2 b2 up to a k b k x plus b1 square plus b2 square up to bk squared now notice that this is a sum of squares this polynomial px is a sum of squares so as long as x is real number so if x is real px is always greater than 0 this is the critical idea greater than or equal to 0 how do we know this we know this because we know that the p, the p that px can be written as sum of squares notice that px can also be written like this a1 square plus a2 square plus ak square x square minus 2 times a1 b1 up to ak bk x plus b1 square plus bk square and so on so this one is also px looking at this form of px 
it is hard to tell that px is always greater than or equal to 0. You have to look into this original form. This original form tells you that this polynomial is a sum of square quantities, which we know is always greater than or equal to 0 as long as x is a real number. What can we say from the fact that px is always greater than or equal to 0? Well, we can say that the graph, which is a parabola because it's a quadratic, the graph always stays above the x-axis because the px values are, are always greater than 0. So the graph always stays above the x-axis. In the worst case, it touches the x-axis. So the discriminant is less than 0 when it totally stays above, stays above the x-axis and the discriminant is equal to 0 if it touches the x-axis. So we combine both of these cases and say that the discriminant is less than or equal to 0. How do we know this? We know this because we know that the px values are always greater than or equal to 0. How do we know that? We know that because we know px can be written as a sum of squares and sum of squares is always greater than or equal to 0. All of this is connected. Now what is the discriminant? The discriminant is the following. It is the equation of, P of px was a1 square up to ak square x square minus 2 a1 b1 a k b k x plus b1 square up to b k square. This was the value of px or the expression for px. Discriminant is less than or equal to 0. We know this. And what is the meaning of that? Discriminant is b square minus 4 ac in a quadratic. In this case it is 4 times a1 b or 2 times a1 b1 up to a k b k whole square maybe I can put this minus sign as well whole square minus 4 times this times this so a1 square up to a k square b1 square up to b k square this is less than or equal to 0 so we have a1 b1 up to a k b k absolute value of that is less than equal to square root of a1 square up to a k square times b1 square up to b k square you can actually get from this one to this one just by transposing, so bringing this part to the right hand side, taking the cancelling out the 4 and taking the square root. And of course, the absolute value of this, this is less than, this is, this will be greater than just a1, b1 up to a, k, b, k. Because the absolute value is the positive one and this can be negative as well. This is less than or equal to a1 square plus up to a k square b1 square up to b k square which this is the cauchy schwarz inequality but the purpose of this video was not the cauchy schwarz inequality it was to understand the power of the sum of square strategy and we see how interesting this is uh, maybe in the next one, we will talk about a problem that came in Moscow Olympiad where they use this sum of square strategy up to its full strength. Up to that time, stay well and keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next one.